Yeah, I know. And that is how I got tenure at Kellogg's. No, I'm not even joking. I even want to work at Kellogg's. But uh, at least I know that if YouTube falls out, uh, I have a tenure at Kellogg's. I know, I went into the bathroom. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know how it happened. All right, but I, I have to go. I'll, I'll speak to you later. All right, bye. Bye. Kellogg's. <laughs> These intros are get, just punch my mic. These intros are getting worse and worse. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Buyaka Chan, aka Joe, and uh, today we are going to be doing our first reaction video. Now, before we get into that, I just want to point out the elephant in the room. The setup has changed because of just the way the lighting is. The camera, I had to like it. it, it it's changed. Maybe for the better, maybe for the worse. Leave the comments down in the down in the I really gotta like get someone to hold a piece of paper behind the camera to read what I'm saying. Leave a comment down below in the description if you like if you like the new setup. But anyway, let's just get straight into this because I just messed up really bad. Today we're reacting to the worst infomercials ever. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but I often stay up till 2, 3 in the morning watching telly. And uh, somewhere around 1, it just starts to change. And you'll find that there's more infomercials than there is programs. And some of them are so bad. You know, and some of them are fairly good. I'm never going to buy them to find out, but uh, you know, some of them do seem like they wouldn't be a waste of time. Like the non-stick pan. Remember when that was just coming around? <laughs> that was on TV all the time. But uh, some of them, you know, some of them are like, uh, for just your whole house, you could get a new... See, I messed up. See? This is, what, this is why I should really get an editing software. So when I make jokes like that, it doesn't go sour. I can just cut it out and start again. I'm not going to start recording again because it's like my fifth time. Because when I was doing the whole phone thing, my mouth wouldn't say Kellogg's. Anyway, what am I talking about? Let's just let let's just uh jump into this here. When you put tiny hot dogs on a plate, grill, or other cooking device, because of their round shape, they roll all over the place, and many end up on the ground. What a waste! <laughs> Oh, the acting. Oh, I love infomercials. What a... No, hold on. He, the place. Hold and on. many end up on the ground. What a waste! <laughs> what a waste! <laughs> Hi, my name is George. I'm here to talk to you today about Gorilla Tango Novelty Meats' new product, Big Hot Dog. Wait, was he just selling giant rolls of meat? Was that what that was that all that was? So now not only will your hot dog fall off of the grill and land on the floor, but it will also break your foot. <laughs> By now for only ten ninety nine. What? That's like the what you sir need to stop. That's the worst thing ever. What you're not even gonna be able to hold on. Can we go back and look at uh, hang on. Look at I can't even about to say it. Look at the size of that meat. Okay. No one is going to eat, like, even the third of that. It's not necessary. I mean, it's not even a hot dog, first of all. And you're going to need a bloody baguette. Some people just don't think Hi, things through. My name is George. I'm here to talk to you. Yeah, I, I don't. Just, just move on. Can't resist. The Lord inside, where the super sticky, non-toxic glue has the strength catch and hold even the largest bugs. Once they're stuck, the bugs are out of luck. Don't use hazardous bug sprays and insects. <laughs> so, it's just glue in a box. Is that is that what you're selling me here? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To catch and hold even the largest bugs. Once they're So it's just glue in a box. You're just you're trying to sell me glue in a box. Well, maybe a little bit of honey mixed in there, so the insects know where to go. But it's just glue in a box. Stuck, I, I, am I wrong? 
Don't use hazardous bug sprays and insecticides. Don't waste hundreds of years each year on exterminators. Creepy Catchers is the safe, green, affordable way of protecting you and your family all year round. The bugs are gross. Get rid of them with Creepy Catchers. It's incredible how effective it works. The bugs are gone. Are they professional actors? Hold on, go back. Bro, get rid of them with creepy catchers. It's incredible how effective it works. It's incredible how effective it works. <laughs> you know what they did? You know what they did? I can tell you right now. They walked up to this lady and were like, um, so we're, we're, we're doing an infomercial. Would you like to be on it? And she was like, oh my God, yeah. And they were like, we'll give you five pounds, but you have to sell it. And she was like, well, what is it? And it, it's glue in a box with a little bit of honey so the insects get caught. You in? She was like, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> that, that, that's the conversation. There's no other one like this particular one. Can I just say something really quickly? I know I keep pausing it, but look how bad the quality of these infomercials was. This is like the 90s, maybe even the 80s. There's no bad infomercials from 2018 in world. this so and far. You can see the tracks go this way. And... Um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than... Oh, f <laughs> What even is it? What is it? Is it a camera? What? Hold on, I missed what it was. <laughs> There's no other one like this particular one in the world. And you can see the tracks. But what is it though? And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than. Oh. F <laughs> what even is that? Was it like a camera maybe? Because he said it records more accuracy, more accurately than than anything else. But he just sort of. Yes, can I help? No, I didn't think so. Kit, kit. He just like snapped it in half. Like even this camera here, the one I'm using, it's very durable. Not durable. It's like fle Like it's small and it can break. But I can't snap. I can't snap it in half. Oh my god. Um, well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. That can't be good. Uh, now, Does uh, it? Should, is, is, are you done with uh, that? Yeah, yep. done with that. That. <laughs> That's how you know it doesn't happen. Well, that happens once in a while. It. it, it, it is you done? <laughs> You're done? Yeah. Okay. G L H means great looking hair. Just spray G L H on, and it instantly covers your bald spot, leaving you with great looking hair. This is the first time I've ever used this product. I saw it on the uh, infomercials, and I was skeptical at first. Um, but uh, it's struggling it, here. That's incredible. I've been getting the for being bald. I'm only a young man. No more dates about being called old man. But the babes are back. The babes are back. Get yeah, they are until they get in your car and realize. Hang on a sec. Have you just like got black spray paint and sprayed it on the back of your head? <laughs> what is what? Hold on, what is that? It worked. Yeah, but what is it? I've been getting around it's black spray paint. Oh, young man. No more dates about being called old man, but the babes are back. Yeah, but what is it? It doesn't actually tell you what it is. It's, it's genuinely, right? They went to the nearest Toys R Us or You Need Us or whatever. They bought a thousand different types of black spray, black spray paint. Okay, then they wrapped it up in their label and went, we can cure boldness. You, they bought red, <laughs> yellow, and black, and brown. And they don't tell you that it doesn't wash off. Now watch this. Ah, I didn't want him, sorry. But this is exciting. Oh, I want you to look at all of those wiggles. Sometimes I do, you know, a softer wiggle. And sometimes I do a zigzag. Oh my gosh, I love to wiggle the whole thing. Look at that. <laughs> uh, pardon me. So into it. But what is it though? 
This is the thing with these infomercials, 90% of them. It doesn't tell you what it is. They just go off to the... It, like, they, it looks cool. That's why people buy it. What was that? No idea. Kelly's giving me the okay, Sam. So tuna. we're making a tuna. Why would you get all of it in there? Tuna. tuna the second thing we have in our house. Can I talk? <laughs> I watched it. Oh, but he, he's on telly. You can't snap like that when you're on telly. I understand, right? Because there is nothing worse in the world than when you were trying to talk and people were like, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, and they just mess you up. And I just, I've, I've just noticed how much I'm moving around in my chair. It, f I feel bad. I feel it. I feel it. We're making a tuna. tuna the second thing we have in our house. Can I talk? <laughs> I watch the show every day. Everybody has issues with a lot of chatter back here. Pay attention one minute. Ooh, that seems to work. I hope you enjoyed your last. Hold on. Hope you enjoyed your last time of the Today yeah, Show. I'm only kidding. I love you. And I've already. He wasn't kidding. He wasn't kidding. He just doesn't want to get kicked out. I've seen this one. I'm not going to pretend I haven't seen this one. I have seen this one. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to let you guys watch. I've seen this one. And today we brought the Hawaii chair to a very busy work environment. It's so busy that they had time. <laughs> Oh, it is so busy in that workplace that they they could barely find the five minutes to uh to make this okay not only that but this guy doesn't even look busy the guy on the left look at him let's get some he could at least be just writing down what she's saying and look busy he doesn't what first time reaction oh my gosh this is amazing that feels cool Uh, that's what she said. Great on my abs. I can really feel this working. You can hardly call this work. With the Hawaii chair, it takes the work out of your work day. The Hawaii chair. Yeah. Work day. The Hawaii chair. Does that look like a happy face to you? Does this face say sold? I'll buy a thousand of them. No. This face says, I want to go home, and I want to sit in a chair that isn't trying to run away. Now, there's Listen Up, the personal sound amplifier that lets you turn the volume up for yourself without turning the volume up for everyone else. You can hear a pin drop from across... So, it's headphones. <laughs> is that it? Was it is oh my god, hold on, I just figured it out. This was the very... I keep hitting my mic. It's, you're way too close, bud. Yeah, go back there. Oh, but now you're not going to stack. What? Oh. Good. This was the very first set of headphones that ever existed. I I'm willing to put money on that fact. Press the room or listen in on a conversation from up to 100 feet away. What? You met the new neighbors. I have. I met him. He seems nice. Just insert the earphones and adjust the volume. Ever wonder what people are talking about across the room? Now with Listen Up, you can discreetly okay, listen he's in. in. Good shape, doesn't he? It's pretty cute. <laughs> I don't even know what. I don't, there's not even a joke. What? So let me get this straight. You can use this to be a stalker. Is that what this is? I tell you what, if this video gets 25 likes, okay, I will go and I will buy an amplifier, my mama, ma, ma, and we will test it out on camera. I don't. Esto es una tapa de vidrio. Te dijimos antes. Fíjate lo que te puede pasar si se te llega a caer al piso con la hot play. Mira, la tapa de la hot play va al piso y mira. Date vuelta. Mira, vos que querías que lo hiciéramos en Carmen en vivo. Why did he do that? What? Oh, I don't I know what language this is, and I definitely can't speak it. But, like, he's just made a mess for no reason. 
What is, was this like, this is the pot lid that will not break. You can drop it off a 500 stair build, a 500, wait, what's the word? Let's try it again. You can drop this off a 500 story building and it will not break. Watch. A caer al piso con la hot play. Mira, la tapa de la hot play va al piso y mira. Date vuelta. And what's he saying here? He's like argue. He's like yelling at the uh, at like the the film crew, like it's their fault. Like this isn't even the one that I brought in. What? The, who who replaced my pot lid? Huh? Who who was that? This isn't it. I want to start again. This is not my pot lid. What? Okay. There you go. It was his pot lid. When your pet goes in the house or on the sidewalk or even your neighbor's lawn, we have the answer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That that freaked me out. That is wrong. In the house or on the sidewalk or even your neighbor's lawn. Oh, he did that on purpose. Bearing in mind, he is being paid. Probably not a lot, but he is being paid to step on that and ruin his shoes. There ain't enough money in the world. I like my shoes. I take care. of where are they? They were here. I was about to show you. I take care of my shoes. Okay. There is no way you are paying me to step in dog poop. That it's, it's freaked me out. Uh, we have the answer ruined. for you. Introducing Poo Trap, an amazing new innovation that eliminates the need of picking up after your dog. Poo Trap is a unique new product that fits any size dog without any hassles, and your pets will love it too. Oh yeah, they will love it because there's no, there's no better feeling than walking around with a plastic bag on your asshole. 18, 16 is the like, they were, they, they were all sat there, right, and they all just wanted to go to home. It was after hours and the boss was like, you're not going home until we come up with something that we can sell. And one of them was like, oh my god, oh my god, I got it, I got it. Hey Patricia, write this down. A bag? That you can stick on a dog's ass so he can shit anytime he wants. Oh my god. Write that down. Got it? Cut. Go. Good. I'm going home. Item number on this one. And the nice thing about these practice katanas. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh! Was that a. S Did he. What the. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just 18, 16 is the item number on this one. And the nice thing about these practice katanas. Oh! Oh, he stabbed himself. A practice katana. What? What is that? There's no such thing as a practice katana. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold on. Right. Two seconds. Let me see if I can find this. have one of these right I'm not even joking I have a practice katana okay this isn't gonna snap in my hands I, I'm, I'm not going to hit my desk because the camera will fall and then it will break but look okay I have one why is his made out of metal that's just a katana this oh, proceed oh, that hurt. Oh, yeah oh, that hurt I expect it did a piece of that just, the tip just got me, Odell. Oh, that got Is me. Is he okay? You all right? A piece of that tip just got me. Oh, Folks, right now, we uh, may need emergency surgery in the studio. Was he, he was joking. He was, he was like, yeah, we need emergency surgery. Well, meanwhile, the guy's off camera holding his arm on place. on pl In place. He's like, my arm! Ah! And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go call someone. Gosh. Very, very simple. There's a little button here that you just press. Everything you need to press and yeah. move is in yellow. Okay? And then... <laughs> So, so, <laughs> so, I will take five 
and I'm going to give them to everyone who has ever hurt me in any way. And I'll be like, yeah, easy to empty everything you need is in your bottom. And then they're going to, and it's going to go everywhere. Sold. <laughs> okay. So I think, hold on. Oh no, wait, is there more? Okay, so that was the end. And I don't what is that? I don't wanna know. But anyway, that was the first ever reaction video on Buyaka Chan gaming. <coughs> If you liked what you see and you want to see more, then please smash that subscribe button down below and leave a like and comment, please, because it lets me know you enjoy what you are seeing and I am not wasting my time. And if you want to see some more compilations, com com compilations, it's compilations, then let me know down below and I'll, I'll be sure to make more because this I, this was actually surprisingly fun. Um, I don't, I don't know, it's just saying so funny about sitting here and laughing at people fail on TV. Uh, but, I mean, yeah. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button and leave a like, because it really does let me know that you like what you're seeing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.